Hello, in this video we're going to start on working with JSON formatted data. In the previous videos we've been saving text files and we've been parsing the data ourselves with commas or with the pipe character. Now we're going to include a new library that will help us use this formatted data called JSON. Now to introduce the idea of JSON, I'm going to the website w3schools.com. And so you can see that the name of JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And so it's a, it's a format for text files. So you can see that W3Schools has several pages on what JSON is. Let's take a look at this third one called JSON versus XML. So here is an example of how to save data in JSON format. Curly brackets, a field name, colon, and then depending on the data type, it's going to have some information after it. So XML is a competing technology that will also save things to a text file. So JSON seems to be winning out in this competition of head-to-head -head, uh, technologies. XML perhaps has more flexibility, but it's um, not as quite as easy to use. And so JSON is very, very popular. So we're going to be writing files that look something like this here. So I'm going to create a new project and adapt some of the things that we have in our current project. So up here in the uh, file menu, choose new and Java project. I'm going to call this thing activity 4-3-json. I'm going to borrow the car class that we used before and paste it. So copy and paste it into our new project area. So here's car. So our car property has year, make, model, odometer, and engine size. It has a constructor and it has a two-string method and all of the getters and setters. Now I'm going to add another class into here and I'm going to call it cars list. So this class will just have basically one property. It's going to be a list of um, type car and I'm going to call it car list. Next let's import these items. So Java util seems to be the library where they are stored. So I'm going to create the default um, setters and getters for this class. So I'll use source and generate these. Then I'm going to generate a constructor using the property called ArrayList. And then finally I'm going to create a default constructor that has no parameters and it will generate a new ArrayList of type car um, and assign it to this.carList. And so this class is a management for a list of cars. Now I'd also like to take some of the data that we used in our previous project. So I'm going back into Demo Writing to Files 1 and open this. So you can see I've created four cars and I'm just going to copy their data. So let's copy here. So now I'm going to copy this data and make it into a new file. So I'm going into Activity 3-JSON and let's go and make a new class. And this is going to be Testing JSON. And I'm going to make sure that the uh, void main um, function is checked. And then finally, I'm going to create four new cars. So I've imported the cars and I'm ready to make lists. So now I'm going to make a new cars list object. I'll call it CL and that is a new cars list. So cars list is now the class that we just defined. And it will, instead of using arrays, we're using array lists. So very similar, but this is more flexible. Array lists can be extended and shrunk uh, dynamically. They don't have a fixed number of elements. So now I'm going to create a new array list of type car, and let's add these four cars to it. It looks to me like I have to import the Java utility library again, and then we're ready to go. So some list dot add, and we'll put in each car. So C1 through C4. Okay, finally I'm ready to go to CL dot set car list, and this is going to be some list. So now my car list has four elements in it. So this is a good point to stop. We are going to take the uh, next video to save this to a file and then finally read it from a file. 